So today I want to talk about timing, family and friends, and Ronnie Coleman. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Stein and today I want to talk about timing, family and friends, and Ronnie Coleman as it pertains to your music career, your development as an artist. Now, timing is something that I think for us as, as people who make music, we're often wanting to rush. I, I, I was yesterday, we, I was mixing a song in the studio with a friend of mine who's an engineer and producer. And I was like, okay, it sounds good. It sounds good. Let's, okay, let that, leave that instrument alone, blah, blah, blah. And he, and he said, you know, it's not a race. Like, what's your rush? And I just had this feeling like I wanted to get done mixing it. I wanted to upload it, you know, to DistroKid or CD Baby as soon as possible to, to get it out there. As if it, the sooner it got done, the, you know, the better it would be. And that's not necessarily true. So I'm coming from a position where I naturally... And, and tend to to want to rush things. And two things that uh, I was thinking about today. Let's first talk about Ronnie Coleman. Ronnie Coleman is uh, an eight-time Mr. Olympia bodybuilder. He's arguably the greatest bodybuilder of all time. You know, we're talking about a guy that's 5'11", 300 pounds of just solid muscle. The Probably one of the biggest most muscular people that's ever lived and his conditioning's incredible you know you can read about him and the thing about Ronnie Coleman is, is that his legacy his legacy is that he's the greatest arguably to do what he what he does and when I think of Ronnie Coleman uh, I think of a legend I think of someone who is who is left a legacy by their greatness. And what I learned recently is that Ronnie Coleman didn't just come out of nowhere and win all these competitions, but he actually was in the Mr. Olympia contest I think four or five times and he placed ninth. He first of all, first first one he was in he didn't even place. Then I think he was ninth and seventh and sixth and you know it was it was the, the main contenders, the main body. I don't know if you know anything about bodybuilding, which isn't necessarily important. But there was a main group of people at the top that were always competing for the best when Ronnie Coleman came into the picture. And they didn't even really consider him a threat. And it really, really surprised me because I just assumed that, you know, someone of his caliber just came on the scene and immediately started dominating. And that's not the case. He often talked about how he felt insecure, almost quit. And you've heard this story, I'm sure, a hundred times in a different, you know, whether it's in music or sports or art or politics or whatever. Someone always gets to the point where they want to quit. And if they had, they would have never become who, who we know them as today. Ronnie Coleman. Ronnie Coleman is a perfect example of a legacy of legendary excellence, but at the same time, one of patience and timing. He didn't reach his full potential until he was in the contest for a couple of years, several years. People didn't even consider him as a competitor for years as a professional. And then he won it eight years in a row. It's unbelievable. Now, what's this have to do with timing and family and friends? Well, another event happened with me recently and without getting into all the details, let's just say I've been doing something specifically that my family and friends have known about for a while. And I always wanted them to at least acknowledge it or to know what it was that I was doing. This is non-music related. And um, there was a friend of mine that was very close to me and was very, very helpful in my early years, um, you know, I, I stayed on their couch, you know, I lived with them for a while. And when, you know, I didn't have any money and I was a student and, you know, you know the story. And after that happened and after I kind of started doing this thing, I was 
expecting them, or I was at least hoping that they would be interested. And, and I think a lot of us feel this way in music, where our family or our friends are pro usually the last people to buy the album, unless you're really close to your family and friends. And, you know, they, you know, you talk them into it or something. But one of the first things that I realized when I started to put out music was that most people didn't care, and most people that I thought would care didn't care. And the thing about timing is, the thing about Ronnie Coleman, family and friends, is that I had this friend that I thought would, would kind of support me. And I was always, it was always kind of an unspoken thing that I didn't say because I, I felt weird about it, that, that they didn't, you know, acknowledge it. Well, eight years has passed. And I just received a notification from, you know, this person that uh about this about this thing that I've been you know doing and it's funny because people come around now I'm not talking about the people where let's say you have you, let's say you have a, a, a group of friends or people that know you that laugh at you and say you know you're never gonna make it and then when you make it they're like oh I knew you would make it I'm not talking about that I'm not talking about sycophants people who latch on to famous people and say oh hey remember we were friends in high school I'm talking about a friend that you're close to that you care about that may not see the picture until down the road and in the same way that I need to be patient, like Ronnie Coleman, in order to get on or to become a champion, you know, or to, be, to be successful or to, to reach my goals, I need to know that my timing is always going to be faster than reality, that I'm going to want to get there faster than it really actually takes, that I need to put my dues in, that I need to lose in order to learn how to win. And I think we all understand that as artists. We understand that after a while that it takes a lot. It takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of consistency. But I learned today that it also, that, that same type of experience and that timing that's so important also relates to our family and friends. They need the time. They need the experience of seeing you know, what you're doing in order for them to come around and to see what you're doing. In order to, for them to get the full picture. And then it clicks. Oh, okay. Instead of you saying, why don't you understand me? Let me explain to you what I'm doing. Like, I encourage you, and, and this, is, this is maybe something I did out of fear, but I never really approached this person about, you know, my disappointment. You know, like, hey, I, I, thought, I thought you really cared about me. I thought that you would support me in this. It took their own timing. And people have different timings. Some people see it soon, some people never see it. But some people need time and to wait for you to wait on them for them to come around. And when they do, it's just as sweet as if they'd been there the whole time. So timing's extremely important, not just for your own, but for other people. And that's something that I learned this week. And it was sparked by two events. Ronnie Coleman, see, you know, learning about Ronnie Coleman's rise but also this email that I just got from someone that I haven't heard from in a long time. Tell me what you think. Do you have any family members that don't really get what you're doing, but uh, you're hoping you, you know maybe they'll come around and see the big picture? Or maybe you've had an experience like that where you had somebody you thought you thought would support you or help you or or at least you know be a cheerleader for you, and then you know you never hear from them about. You know, maybe you sent them some music or something and they never responded. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. And uh, are you a Ronnie Coleman fan? Because I love him. He's got a lot of, he's got a lot of uh, inspirational videos. Not just about weightlifting. But anyways, if you like the, the video, please comment. Please subscribe. Uh, hit the like button. Really help me out. I uh, really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.